How's it going? Today, we're gonna compare the Galaxy Samsung S22 Ultra, the Exynos version versus the iPhone 13 Pro. All right, let's do a quick microphone test. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on an iPhone 13 Pro. The other day when I checked out this chicken spot, I came across this cafe which sells pretty Instagrammable sandwiches. So I'm gonna head there, check it out. Of course, I'll be using Instagram to compare during that section. And since I'm nearby to pair and it's a pretty sunny day, I'm gonna go there and just take some samples. closes at three and I didn't make in time, but I still got a green smoothie instead. But that is an excuse for me to go back to the chicken place because I do want to try out the chicken sandwiches next time I go there. So I guess today is that day. Next up is portrait mode. It does have 1X and 3X on both phones. I think 3X is a little bit too much indoors or when you're in limited space, but when you're outdoors, it should be okay. Now, one thing I noticed on Samsung phones, which I've, just because I've been testing out a lot of Samsung phones lately, is that when I put this on a timer and run to my spot, it tends to miss focus. Now, I'm not sure if it's just a Samsung thing or it's just all phones across, but let's find out and see if it's just a Samsung problem. Next up is the telephoto. Obviously, I think the Samsung's gonna win at this point just because it has that periscope lens and it can zoom up to 100X versus the 15. Now, I'm still gonna match up the 15X and see uh, which one does better at the max zoom on the iPhone, but I'm not gonna show too much of the 30 and 100 just because obviously we know it's gonna zoom farther and it doesn't look too great.
Alright, here are my thoughts using these two phones today and let's start off with the UI. Of course, this is going to be depending on which one you're more comfortable with. But for me, I do tend on leaning towards the iOS more just because I can swipe up and reach easily reach certain things like the timer and flash and all that stuff. Whereas on the Ultra, especially the Ultra since it's super big, I would have to reach all the way on top of the screen where I would need my other hand to do that. And also Samsung does offer a lot more modes. So if you are into that or you like those modes or use those modes, then that's also a plus. It is nice that it's customizable where you can move those certain camera modes that you use the most out to the front. On the iPhone, you would have to scroll left and right more often just to get to that certain mode. There is cinematic mode on the iPhone which works well on people and other things, whereas on the Samsung, there is something similar called video portrait, but it only works on a human face. But in the end, it really depends on what system you like. Everyone has their own preference and likes certain things. So this part is really up to you. Now for performance, I'm gonna give it to the iPhone 13 Pro. During daytime, they're pretty much smooth, so there's no problems there. But in terms of being more seamless when you're transitioning to the telephoto lenses, the iPhone has it down. And whereas on the Samsung phone, you can see it jump from one to like, 3x to 10x whatever so you see that lag especially during nighttime and for instagram as well you will really see it lagging and jumpy and it's it's not good for instagram and if you do tend on saving your photos or your videos it also takes a longer time to process whereas on iphone it's like it processes like three times faster so pretty much in a nutshell during daytime they're both pretty much the same thing it doesn't matter nighttime iphone instagram iphone so the biggest pro on the samsung s22 ultra is the telephoto so if you really like zooming in let's say you're always at concerts or even recording your your children on stage or something when they're performing then yeah, the telephoto lens will come in handy and those pictures will be better. So those are my thoughts about these two phones. Let me know down below what you guys think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.